Jed again with another video. So in this video, I'm here at Steve's place again. Uh, on the last video, I did a how to wrap your exhaust header. And so now today, me and Steve are going to be installing the header. The R6. And there is the header right there. I need to pull this out. I got a new Felpro from uh, Felpro exhaust gasket from O'Reilly's. I also have the, the flange gasket uh, for the other for the outlet part, but I'm not gonna be using this today because there's a chance that the exhaust that's already on the car might not even like, might not even be the spec. So there is a chance at the end of this video that we might be running open header until I can get it to a shop or to the shop on Backyard Auto to do the rest of the exhaust. Uh, nothing too crazy today, just a little header install. We're gonna have to undo that downpipe too. The flange that's right in front of your face. Oh yeah. Alright guys, so Steve's down there doing PB blaster on the flanges. We did PB blaster on the actual head. All right, on the actual uh, header that connects to the actual engine. And uh, we're just gonna let it sit for a while while it cools down, while the PV blaster does its thing. We're gonna go out and do some, some other areas and whatnot while that, all that magic works. Eventually. So y'all just saw Steve uh, remove the three bolt flange um, from an under the car. They are 14 mil bolts. Not too hard. We got the impact under there. And then where the uh, header, the, the factory header is, it goes down to another pipe that has two spring bolts. We're trying to take off the exhaust piece by piece, like, or in this case, two pieces. Easier to take out those, uh, parts rather than like one big piece. All right. Uh, let me see if I can get under. 20 minutes later. All right guys, so that mid pipe to the exhaust header. Sensor. These two right here. Uh, Steve impacted from here. For some reason, it's a 10 mil. I don't know why, but those the spring bolts had 12 millimeter dust on the back, so oh, it came off pretty easily. Nice. Note to self: I need to get a second one so I can get rid of that check engine light. But there you go. Alright, so what we're doing now is we're moving, we already moved the strut brace, now we're moving the OEM uh, strut brace, or whatever it's called, the strut bar. Uh, and then we're also moving this to get out of the way so that way we can make some room, as much room as possible to get behind the engine. Alright, these header bolts guys are uh, 14 mil. Just FYI. Uh, so far, so good. Two bolts on top, three nuts on the bottom. Yep. Damn it, I wish we had a cordless ratchet. <laughs> Fuck. Just, I actually, I almost decided to go buy one. Actually, when I was in Harbor Freight yesterday, I was trying to find one. The earthquake or whatever it's yeah, called. Yeah, but. All right, guys, so we were able to get. That looks like some kind of aftermarket. It could be, actually. Because it, it's stainless, I think, coated. It has welds on it. And, huh. uh, and it doesn't look rusty as far. That's probably been contributing to how shitty it sounds. <laughs> there it is, guys. That's the, the exhaust header. Of, well, yeah, the one that came with the car. At first, I was going to say factory, but I'm starting to think it might not be actually factory. 
because uh, according to Steve when he was unscrewing it, it was supposed to be what again? Three, two bolts on top, three nuts at the bottom, and one of them was replaced with a bolt. Okay. So, so this was definitely messed up at one point. Yeah. Uh, and that's the that gasket is not OEM. Oh yeah, you're right. It's not. So usually the OEM exhaust gasket is like yeah. a it's like a thin metal. Okay. Well. I mean, that part's done, so we're gonna try and uh, get the beast, this one, in there now. Should be good enough. It's a lot better than it was. The thing is, I completely forgot about cleaning that, that surface until just, until just now when I was looking at it. <laughs> So it took a little bit of finagling, but we were able to get the header in there. And Steve is uh, buttoning up the header to engine bolts. What we had to do was uh, disconnect the front sway bar off the chassis because the front sway bar was was covering too much of the of the hole where the, of the where the header had to go to. So we had to uh, remove it. Where you can see down here, it's hanging by the end links but as you can see the header is in now part of me kind of wants to run the car on the track without a front sway bar but if we are going to put it back on we're going to have to disconnect it from the end links and then uh just kind of slip the slip the uh sway bar over the piping over here and then all the way well, all the way back there to where it needs to be yeah but look yeah Header's in. Header is in. Uh, I hope you want to hear this shit open better. <laughs> because, uh, I was thinking about that too when I was under there, like, hold on. open header that shit is loud as fuck it's kind of smoking right now because of the uh the header wrap but well, anyways guys so that's how you uh do a header install on an rsx at least how my, ours you know my work, I guess. So. yeah the job wasn't per se hard it was a little bit tricky because it's a really tight space in there if i had short headers it probably wouldn't be as bad but these are long headers because these are the only headers you should get for this car it's definitely gonna sound a little bit quieter and a little bit nicer once I get the custom exhaust done because I got a, got some parts waiting for that. Um, thanks for watching this video. You know, comment if you want. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe. Follow me and Steve on Instagram. Uh, I guess I'll catch you on the on the next one. Peace.